My name is Danielle Demetria East, and I'm the founder and executive director of East Lubbock Art House. Um, and so through East Lubbock Art House, our mission is to make art accessible for all individuals and to work at the intersection of creativity and activism towards a more equitable community, uh, more specifically um, the eastern portion of Lubbock. And so we do that through um, a few different things like our mutual aid projects, um, our art exhibitions and murals, our um, educational resources, and then also through a lot of cultural events that we host. Um, and so two of those are our um, internship program and then also our wellness workshop. So one of our biggest programs is our internship program. So we work with um, individuals who this may be their first job that they've had. Um, they're also artists and they're also um, interested in um, anti-racism and also just working um, in arts administration. Um, so now we've kind of formulated to where they work about 15 weeks. Um, and we have an intern that's kind of working with these other interns since it's such a big program. And we kind of more focus on um, all of the inner workings of our organization so they can get a feel for everything um, and kind of understand even if after they work with us, they might want to start their own uh, nonprofit or their own art gallery. So they'll have all of the information and um, I guess, guidelines and ideas of what that takes to do so. So they oversee fundraisers. Um, they also participate in grant writing now. They print t-shirts. Um, they kind of really help with the community fridges that we have. Uh, they also work on financial literacy. So that's another big thing that we've been focusing on, especially as artists. So a lot of them have participated in um, different art markets. They um, work on how do I, how much do I sell this for? Um, how much does it take to run this program? So they all kind of are really divvied into financial literacy um, and they all work on uh, their professional development as well. Um, and then as far as the wellness workshops, so those now are led by um, Sin Jung Cho, um, who is a professor of social work at Texas Tech and Bethany Luna, who runs uh, Phoenix Moon Healing um, along with some other organizations. And so we posted them monthly and we focus in on focus on race, racism, and health. Um, in February, we focused on Black History Month. We focused on empowerment. So through those, we've been wanting to have more um, a bigger focus on wellness and health, especially as it relates to um, things that our organization really focuses on and our root causes and also a lack of resources. So we found out there's not really a lot of spaces that people can um, comfortably talk about issues that we focus on. So we wanna do it in a comfortable setting. Um, and a lot of times we have events and we work with volunteers and interns, but we don't really have the time to just sit down and talk about issues, even though we know that they're going on. So um, I believe we've had, each workshop has had at least 15 people. Our largest one had 35 people. Um, and so through that one, we focused on food security and we packed some care packages and took them to the nursing home next door, which was really, really amazing.